everyone, it's Monday. It's Jessica Hartson here from Jessie Illustrates. Lovely to see you again, and I hope you enjoyed my book launch if you joined yesterday. Today we're going to be drawing some more animals from my book. Uh, from this particular page, we're going to be drawing Betty Bear. We're going to be drawing Emily Elephant, and we're going to be drawing Leonard the Lizard. So if you've got your pen, your paper ready, let's get drawing. We're going to start off with Betty Bear. She's very similar actually to Super Panda. So we're going to start off with a head over here doing an oval shape. So a nice big oval to start off with. Like that. Two smaller ovals or semicircles for their ears. And leave a little gap there because her arm's in the way a little bit. We're going to do a smaller oval for the nose. Uh, the snout area. Now, Betty Bear's got her arms up into the sky, so we're going to do two curved rectangles. So a curve here, like that, and it's going to go all the way down to where her skirt is, her tutu. She's a ballerina. So we're going to come back up again, and back round, and down. Now we're going to do um, an oval shape that's cut in half. So this is her furry belly. And her tutu is going to connect her body from one side to the other. We're going to do a line out, a line the other side. And then because her tutu is pretty, we're going to do some wibbly wobbly lines. We're going to do a few of those because she's got a nice fluffy chunky tutu and then she needs her legs doesn't she so a line down that's curved up, up again. and some little uh, lines there for the bottom of her feet and same again on the other side One, two, three. See you like that. Okay. You can start to see hair come together now. Now I'm going to swap pens. Have a little bit of a smaller pen. So I'm going to do a triangle shape for her nose. Like that. Colour that in. I'm going to do a line down and then a wide U shape for her mouth. For her eyes, she's got her eyes closed, so we're going to do a wide M shape, like that. And then two little lines at the side for her eyelashes. Okay, can you see that? We're going to do the same on the other side. Two lashes there. We're going to draw, for the palm of Bear's hand, they have what they call a pad. So we're going to do a circle and some smaller circles. And same on the other side, circle, and some smaller circles. We're going to do a bow on the top, like that. And another one, do do do. And let's put some little circles on this one. Excellent. And you can add some fur in. into her legs as well and some lines where the tutu is the tutu there is. and that's it that's our first first drawing it's Betty Bear doing her beautiful ballerina dancing next we've got Leonard the lizard and he's sitting and sort of holding on to a big bit of cake from the party there in my book. So let's start off with his head. We're going to do a line in. We're going to create a little mouth by going in and out again. We're going to do a lump there and then straight up like that. And then around and down, all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're going to do a curly wordy tail. Curl it right around, keep going, keep going, curly, whirly, whirly, and then we'll stop there. 
we're going to follow that line back again so follow that right line all the way back round we're going to start to make it thicker now the gap between the two lines like this and then we're going to come up and we're widening it widening even more getting further away as we come back up to his body can you see that we're going to do his legs now they're quite thin with some wobbly fingers at the end back in again and the body goes up a little bit curved and the same sort of arm as the leg so nice and thin when we get to the end we're going to do wobbly lines for his sort of little fingers like that that's the body now Leonard is a lifeguard so he's going to have some little lifeguard shorts on and speedos on we're going to do a line for the leg a line for the tummy and a line around his bottom like that the next one is his eye so a nice circle and his pupil which we can colour in and then we're going to do his nostril and then we're going to do his tongue which is a bit like a big um, Y shape yeah and he's licking the cake so let's do the cake next so from his mouth we're going to do a line down from his arm we're going to do a line down to his leg and from the other side of his leg we're going to do a little bit of a line down to there now we're going to come all the way across slightly curved and then we're going to go back up again big straight line this time just to where his nostrils are can you see there just about where his nostrils are now when you're doing drawing i think i've mentioned this before measuring is key so can you see where his eyes are is where we're going to start the top line so you can measure against other things that you've drawn already so another example is just above the arm is where we're going to start our jammy slimy jam so we're going to do some wiggles wiggle 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 grip down and up and the same on the other side we're going to do parallel remember what parallel is so you're doing the same as the opposite line and the same down here as well this one's a bit wobblier now we're going to add a little bit of texture to make this look different to the jam which is nice and smooth we're going to add some dots or little circles to the cake to make the texture of the cake look different to the jam this is called mark making you might want to add some other things to your cake maybe some cherries or chocolate buttons what do you fancy on your cake now um, Leonard the lizard also has little spots as well so we're going to do a few little dots on him and then when we've done that so he's not floating around we need to draw the table that they're sat on so from his bottom we're going to do a line across and same the other way so follow the line and follow the line and this makes sure that your table is same height and that's done well done everyone so our final one today is Ellie the elephant she's an elf got a little hat on so let's get drawing her we're going to start off at the top of her head and we're going to go all the way down and across and bend her trunk back up now elephants have funny little um shapes there at the end of their trunk which is where they grip it's a little bit like a hand so a little bump in the middle and then we're going to come back and follow that line around back up and then leave a little gap where we're going to draw a basket can you see that basket there come back up and a little um backward c shape for her mouth like that and then we're going to draw a little bit like a lip I'm going to draw her chin, so a big swoop down. And then down, big straight line. You're just going to do part of her body. Now we're going to do the hat next, that's a big triangle shape. So up to the top, 
across, up to the top, and then a circle on the top, a little bell. The bell has two dots and a line that joins in, like that. We also know how we've got a little ribbon, so let's draw that in. And a couple of dots, maybe three dots, like that. I'm going to do her eye next, and that is a bit like a triangle, because it's from the side, so the eyes look different from the side. I'm going to do a triangle, like that, and then the pupil, like that. You see? An eyebrow. I'm going to do some tusks, so that's an arch shape, a bit like a bracket. And then a big swoop down to join it, and a swoop down the other side. I'm going to do her ears now, so we've got a big, bit like a capital B. So up, we'll do one bump with a capital B, and the other, and back round again, like that. Do a couple of lines there. Now, finally, we've got the basket to draw, so we're going to do a bit like a rainbow one, two. But this time, we're going to carry it down all the way down here and back up again. Now, it's because it's going over and behind her trunk, we're not going to draw a line there, we're going to draw it behind her trunk. Then we're going to do a semicircle to create the, the basket and the other half the circle and all the way around to the rim of the basket like that. I'm going to do the bottom of the basket now so a line down and across and back up again and now we're going to do the apples so we can do some semicircles like that. Lots of shapes in drawing, isn't there? And then a little mark where the top of the apple is going to be, like that. And add in the lines for the basket. And then we're going to go across again. And you can bend it a little bit, just follow that line at the bottom, the same sort of bend as the line at the bottom. Any little details, so her trunk might have some little creases in, like that. And we'll draw a little line at the back of her head to show her body would go there if she's sort of sitting down. And that's it. Well done everyone, how did you get on with the drawing today? Hope you did well. So the final thing we need to do today is draw the um, competition prize from yesterday's book launch. So I've got lots of names in here in a little bowl. I'm going to draw them out in a moment. And the answer to the question, or the question itself, was what was the first animal that Panda Paul met on his journey and he thought was making the munch, munch, munch sound? And it was the silver fish. So let's pull out a winner. It is Joanne. Oh, Joanne, so I'll get contact you, Joanne, and um, get the book and all the goodies to you. So well done. Well done to everybody else. And thank you again for joining me yesterday. Um, and I'm back again on Wednesday this week. We're going to be drawing stick man using a stick. Oh, yes. So we'll be using muddy water. So just to get, get ready for Wednesday, we'll need some uh, bowl with some muddy water. So water and mud mixed together, really runny. Uh, big bits of paper, you could use old wallpaper if you've got it, or just lots of paper to uh, tape together. And we'll be a really good stick, so not too thick. Uh, maybe a range of sticks if you can find them in your garden or on a walk before then and we'll be using those to dip into the muddy water and we'll be drawing stick man with that. So that'll be really good fun. I shall see you on Wednesday. Have a good few days. Bye.